Welcome to Magic Info Services. Right here you will see the Nextmosphere board. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to work in Nextmosphere in combination with YoYo. I will first show some real life examples. As you can see, if we push some of the buttons that are on this board, we can change the content on the devices accordingly. So for the button on the left hand side and the button on the right hand side, we will show different type of content on the device. Now there are also two additional buttons that we would like to show you, which is this one, the touch button, and the final one is the secure button. This can be placed on the back of a phone for instance. So these are the triggers that we would like to work today, and we will now show you how to create them in combination with YoYo and Magic Info. So first we're gonna head over and sign into our YoYo device. Here you can create your new triggers and have an overview of the triggers that you have currently active. So I will create a new trigger, which I will name push1. Now the input will be the next atmosphere board and the output will be a magic info display because this is where I would like to change the content. If I click on record action and push the button right now, you can see two actions. One action is for pushing in the button and the second action is for pushing out the button. So the release of the button. So I can select which trigger I want my content to change on. Here I will fill in the trigger name, which will be push1. And the target is the IP address of my device. So you have to make sure you have this information before creating the triggers. Now since I have four buttons on this board that I would like to show you, I will have to create four triggers as well. So what I will do now is I will create four triggers so that each button gets its turn. This also makes sure that every button has a functionality on the board. So here again, the same goes for the touch button. You can see two types of triggers. One is for touching the touch button and the other one is for releasing the touch button. So all triggers can be set very specific. And the final one is the secure option. And the same goes for this one. So now there is a sensor attached to it as well, so you can see multiple triggers right here. A trigger can be for reaching to the button, a trigger can be lifting the button up and putting the button back down. Now we have our trigger set. So what we're going to do now is head over to Magic Info. So we're going to go to Content, to the Web Author, and we will open a new LFD file. So what you can see right here will be the main page, which was also the page that you saw on the devices in case no triggers were set. Now at the very bottom, you can add pages and every page that you add can be a trigger. So I have four triggers set on the board, so I will need to have at least four additional pages. Now the difference between Nextmosphere and our standard YoYo solution is that there is no lift up solution. And that's why behind every page that you create for a trigger, you have to set a new home page. So as I mentioned earlier, we have four triggers set, which will mean I will have to create four pages for four different triggers. This also means that I have to have four home pages, because after every page has ran out of its time, it will go to the next page, where I will have to set the new triggers as well, which I will show you in a minute. So I will now make sure that every trigger content item will be shown for 5 seconds and that every home page is set for almost 24 hours, just to make sure that it doesn't expire. So these are my 4 home pages and you can see my 4 pages for the triggered content items. Now whenever the 5 seconds passes it will go to the next home page and so on and so on, it will also count for all the triggers. So whenever the five seconds of the content items have passed, it will go to the next homepage. 
One thing that you have to do and be aware of as well is creating the new triggers right now. The new trigger name have to match the trigger name that is in YoYo. So here you can see the primary trigger name is push1 and the push1 naming convention has to be found back in magic info. My second trigger name is push2 which I will also have to find back in magic info. So I will have to do this for all four of them. So the third one is touch which will go to page 6. And the final one is secure, as you can see in YoYo. This one will go to page 8. So every other page you will now see the trigger and all the pages in between are the home pages. Now since the content items expire after 5 seconds and we'll see a new home page, I have to make sure that I add these triggers to every single home page. This to make sure that every single home page can trigger the content. To new triggers. So in my case I have four home pages right here. I will have to do this four times. Now you might be wondering why after the final page there is no additional home page. Well this is because if the 5 seconds passes of the final content item it will go back to the first page which is a new home page again. So for that reason we, you do not have to create an additional home page after the final page. Now this can be done but it's a bit unnecessary. Once you're done and set all the triggers make sure to save your LFD file and provide it with a suitable name. Great, so once that is done, we can head over to schedule, create a new schedule, select your supported device again and click on create and I will now drag and drop my LFD file into a schedule. Make sure to save it, provide it with an appropriate name again and select it to the device or devices that you wanted to apply to. Well, in case you have multiple devices that you want your triggers to work on, you have to make sure you have to fill in multiple targets and IP addresses in YoYo. And this is how to work with Nextmosphere and YoYo and how to set up the triggers. Thanks for watching.